Okay, so for the third exercise, uh, this is the easiest one. Why the easiest? There's only three sets of questions. The first question was uh, an analysis of correlation on SGA babies. So what happened is you are trying to prove whether there's any association between the mother's BMI and the baby's birth weight. Uh, we assume that both the BMI and the birth weight were normally dis distributed. Therefore, the suitable analysis is Pearson correlation. We gave you this table which you were supposed to complete. Okay. After completing this table, you're supposed to answer the following question. The null hypothesis, conduct the correlation test, calculate the R, and see whether the R is significant, what is the p-value, and how it is calculated. Okay. Okay. So for the exercise, we have made the whole thing easier by putting up the file available for you to, to use online. Okay, so you can just download the file. So you can see the file here. S3, you want to open it. The only thing you have to do is to complete the file, which is very, very easy. Okay. So let's have a look at these files. Okay. For the BMI square, you take the BMI, you square it. For the birth weight, you take the birth weight and you square it. And for the XY, you just sum up, you just uh, multiply the BMI and the birth weight. Okay, so you already completed these three values. Highlight these three boxes together. Pull the bottom left side, pull it down until the bottom, then you get the answers. So, right now, the only thing you have to do is to fill up the three formulas. As you, as you can see here, this is the formula. Let's pull it down. So, you have these three formulas, you need to get the the top part, the bottom part, okay. So let's take the top part, the top part, okay. So equals to x y. So you already have the x y here. Minus. Okay, the sum of x, the sum times the time sum of y divided by n. So the sum of x times the sum of y divided by n, and here you have 100 divided by 100. Okay, so you got the answer for the first part, the top part. So the first half of the bottom part is. The sum of x squared, okay, x squared is this one, minus, okay, in bracket, the sum of x squared. So the sum is, the sum of x squared, so the sum of x, this is the sum of x, then you square it. Okay, then you divide by 100. Okay. So you enter, you got the answer already. So for the third one, equals to the sum of y. This is the sum of y minus the sum of y squared. The sum of, sorry, this is the wrong one. The, uh, the sum of y squared is this one, 839, so e. This one is going to be E. Okay. So, then this one is this value. Square it. Divide by 100. Okay. Enter. You got the answer. 
So this one is F. One zero two might be okay, correct. This one is D and B correct. So this one E and C is correct. Okay. So now we have to combine all these formulas together to get R value. So R is equivalent to this divided by okay, in bracket. Okay, you need to square root this. SQRT square root. Okay. So this one times this one. So this one times this one. Close bracket. Enter. So nice. You get the answer of 0 0.78. <laughs> when I saw this answer, my first remark was. Wow, it could be 0 0.8, it could be 0 0.7. So if you round it up, it becomes strong. If it doesn't round, if you do round it up, it become moderate association. Okay, that, so that's the first part. Okay, okay after getting the value of the R, now the R value you have to convert to become T. So for it to become T is easy. So T is equal to, so looking at here, the R is from there, okay. Let's, as usual, we settle the difficult part first, we settle the last part first. So the last part is the one in bracket, square root, SQRT, N minus 2, 100 minus 2 is 98, so 98, okay, divide by 1 minus R squared. So one, one minus R. Oh, tamu keluar. Tadi keluar. Thank you very much. That's a nice thing about being old. I'm allowed to forget things. So one minus R. Okay, you square it. So in bracket, so this one you set, we settle this one first. Enter. It doesn't work. They say they need a double bracket. Yes, correct. So now you have to have the multiply R in front. Okay. So now you have a bracket for overall for this. Another bracket. Okay. Then you're going to have the R, this value, times the rest. Okay, now you have a T of 12.351. Uh, this one, you already know the p-value is going to be less than 0 0.12346. Okay, why? Degree of freedom 98, you can just make use of the jadwal top of the normal. The normal is printable. And you get this answer. Okay, so it is very, very significant. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Kasih aku pause ya. Okay, let's continue with the question. So we already got the answer. We got the R value. We got the P value. So you can see the diagram here. In fact, the answers are already given to you. If you take the square root of 0 0.609, you get the R of 0 0.78. Answer already given. Okay. So we are all very nice people here. Okay. So let's go to question number four. Why are we going to question number four? Because basically they are based on the same kind of uh, data set. Okay. What is required here? They are required to get the y equals a plus bx. Okay. Y equals a plus bx. What is the value of a and what is the value of b? So let's start on the regression coefficient. Okay. So for the regression uh, coefficient, we are doing the different B. This B, eh? not the other B. So this regression coefficient, they use the same data set like the one in the correlation. So correlation for the R, the top part and half of the bottom part is the same. 
So, so calculate the B for regression coefficient is almost similar. So for the B, okay, so for the B for regression coefficient is basically the same as taking the top half divided by the bottom half. So take the top half, so the top half is this one equals to this divide by the bottom half the bottom half is this half of the bottom half so this is the half of the bottom half you press enter so this is the value for regression coefficient next you have to calculate the value of the constant which is a so the value of constant a you can only get after you have the value of x and the value of y so to get the value of x And the value of y again you make use of this this is the value of 100x so you have to divide this you divide by 100 so equal to this divide by 100 the same, the same thing applies for the next one this is the value of 100 y so you divide by 100 so you have the value of so a the formula for a is equivalent to y minus bx so for the a the constant here is equivalent to y minus b is your b times x enter so so you have a value of this so when you want to formula y equals a plus bx so your y equals a your a here is 0 0.85 0 0.85 plus 0 0.08 x but since we know y stands for birth weight so the formula should be birth weight equals to 0 0.85 plus 0 0.08 mother's bmi so this is the correct answer for your exercise so this is question number three uh, it is the same thing instead of the mother's BMI we are using the mother's height the data set is 218 personally uh, I'm surprised uh, with the answers I was not expecting these kind of answers when I first ran the analysis so in fact it was a big surprise for me also when I got the answers so let's work on this. Okay, let's create a new sheet. Okay. So we're just going to create a lot of a lot of space for this. And we're going to create all the necessary answers from here. Okay. Row height. Okay, so these are the, the data set that we have. Let's copy paste the formula back. So the this is a formula. Oh, formula is here. Haha. <laughs> okay, so Ctrl C. Let's shift it here. Okay, again we're going to divide this into three sections. Wow, what happened to this? Not enough space. This way. Alright. So we're going to have the A, B, and C. <laughs> so 
So the sum of okay. I think you can see already the uh, the one that we need is all down here. So, so the, this is the sum of uh, for observation is sum of x. Uh, okay, so this one is sum of x, sum of y. So for the a is sum of x y. So it's equals to this value minus the sum of x and the sum of y. So the sum of y is this. This is sum of y. Okay, number of observation is 218. So divided by 218. So you get the first half of the answer. Next, the uh, x. The sum of x squared. So this is the sum of x squared. Minus the sum of x squared. The sum of x squared. So this, this is the sum of x. You square it. Divide by 218. Okay. Wow. So you close this one. Enter. So you get the next half of the answer. So this one, the sum of y. So the sum of y. Minus the sum of y squared. Divide by 218. Again, as I said before, it is not necessary because the computer knows the rule of mathematics which I have to do first. But we just put inside bracket just to be happy. Okay, so your R is equivalent to this value divide by divide by the square root sqrt okay square root again the sum of this and this close bracket close bracket again okay so you get an r value of 0 0.18 so it is quite weak it is quite weak Sangat lemah. Okay. So for the T. Okay. This is where the surprise happens. The surprise has happened. Although because the R is very very weak. Okay. Let's do the first half first. 1 minus R square. 1 minus R. Oops. 1 minus R square. Okay, there's the first half. Okay, and then let's do the second half. N minus 2, so it becomes 216. So 216 divided by the whole thing. Okay, we're not yet done. So we're going to put everything here in a bracket. I have the square root in front. SQRT. Then again, we press enter just to make sure everything is okay. And once again, we put the star times the R value. So this is the R value, enter. So you have a T of 2.1. You know the cutoff point is 1.96. So therefore you know the P value is significant. Since you want to be, I know you all want to be very exact. You want to know the real P value. So 2.81. So 2.81, it is 0 0.00248 times 2. So 0 
sorry uh, okay there's problem with yeah, okay oops right now I'm on this different screen Eesh. zero point zero zero five nine six eight five nine four nine six four nine six okay go to zero come on zero okay just have a look zero okay zero one zero zero four nine six all right correct And that's your answer. Thank you. Bye-bye.